Hello, I'm Seema and welcome to part 6 of the videos titled Bohr's model for hydrogen atom. Today I have planned to do two NCRT exercise questions with you which are related to this topic. The first is question 14 of the second chapter for class 11. The question is how much energy is required to ionize a hydrogen atom if the electron occupies n is equal to 5 orbit. Compare your answer with the ionization enthalpy of hydrogen atom. Ionization enthalpy of hydrogen atom is when the electron is removed for, from the ground state of the hydrogen atom. And in the ground state, the electron in hydrogen atom is present in the first shell. Therefore, in that case, the value of n would be 1. So how do we solve this question? We need to find out the difference for ionization. Ionization means stealing an electron completely from an atom. We studied about photoelectric effect where the energy of incident ray, it ha if it has enough energy, the threshold energy, it can push an electron completely out of the metal surface. So ionization is somewhat like that. You have to provide energy to uh, an electron and if the energy is enough for the electron to be pulled out of the attraction of the atom it is said to be uh, converted into an ion. For an electron to move away from the attraction of the nucleus the outermost shell that is E2 or the E final should be infinity because at infinity we said that the energy of an electron is considered to be zero. Therefore, we want the, for ionization, we want the electron to move from whatever shell is given to us to infinity. In the first case, the electron is present in the fifth shell, while in the second case, it is present in the first shell. So, we have to find out the energy difference between the uh, electron when it's present in the fifth shell and electron when, it's when it transitions from the first shell to infinity. What's the formula? The formula is for energy of an electron in a certain shell, En is minus uh, 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules and this is the Rydberg's constant into z square which is the atomic number upon n square which is the number of the energy level that is the shell. So, what would delta E be? Delta E would be equal to E final minus E initial energy of the final shell and energy of the initial shell. And the electron is moving from infinity to, uh, sorry, is moving from the fifth shell to infinity. Therefore, this would be equal to minus 2.18 now we are taking substituting the, uh, the values in this formula for both the energies so it would be 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules and for hydrogen it's hydrogen so z is 1 square upon n square n is e final the final here would be infinity so it would be infinity square minus minus of 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules into 1 square upon and what do you have here now n square is 5 square initial was 5 square so this value is upon infinity 1 upon infinity is 0 therefore all of this becomes equal to 0 so you and you are left if this is 0 minus minus of this would be plus so we just have to calculate this this would be minus 2 point sorry minus minus becomes plus therefore this is a positive 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules you can ignore the 1 square because its value is 1 upon 5 square is 25 so this if you calculate it becomes equal to how much 0 0.0872 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules or you could also 
if you take care of the, of the scientific notation, this would be 8.72 into 10 to the power minus 20 joules. So this is the energy required to ionize hydrogen when the electron is present in the fifth shell. If the electron is present in the first orbit, that is it's in the ground state, what would be the energy? You use the same formula, delta E, it is the same again, is equal to minus 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules into 1 square upon infinity square minus minus of 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules into 1 square upon and this time it is 1 square. This again becomes 0 so we come down to this. This is 1 square is 1 only so and the minus minus cancelled out. Therefore, the energy would be 2.18 into 10 to the power minus 18 joules is the energy which is required to pull out an electron completely or to ionize an um, atom of hydrogen. So, this was the ionization enthalpy. How would you calculate it? Question 15 now is, what is the maximum number of emission lines when the excited electron of hydrogen atom in n equal to n is equal to 6 drops to the ground state emission spectrum is obtained when electrons gain energy and when they jump back to the original level by radiating giving out that energy and this energy which is given out is then recorded its spectrum on a uh, recording plate or a film and the spectrum that we obtain the lines those are to be counted so you have to find out what are the emission lines when an electron which is present in the sixth energy level in the case of hydrogen falls to the first energy level. So I just made this diagram for you to actually count the uh, lines. We know when electrons jump from higher levels to the first level we call them the Lyman series. So an electron can be present in the first shell, second, third, fourth. If it is excited it has to be at least present in the second shell. So the electron, the Lyman series, that is when electrons jump back to the first shell, there are five possible options. What are those? When electron comes from the second shell to the first, third to first, fourth to first, fifth to first, sixth to first. So you get five lines in the Lyman series. When electrons jump to the second shell, we call them the Balmer series and we have four options. That is if the lowest shell is two, so three to two, four to two, five to two and six to two. The Paskin series is the third shell. Again, there would be only three options now because 4 to 3, 5 to 3, 6 to 3. Bracket series would have two options. That is, since bracket has n is equal to 4, so electrons falling back to the fourth shell would be uh, from the fifth to the fourth and sixth to the fourth. And finally, the fun series is where the electron is present in the, fifth, uh, in the sixth shell and it jumps back to the fifth shell. So what are these total number of lines? Five lines of Lyman series, four, three, two, and one, which is if you add all these up, we get 15. So we get 15 lines in all. If the electron jumps from sixth level to the first level, these are the number of possible lines that we can get. That was practically we counted it. There's a formula also that you can use for this. And what is it? That the number of spectral lines number of spectral lines produced is given by a formula it, and the formula is from if it moves from a shell n whatever n shell is to 1 then the formula is n into n minus 1 upon 2 the formula is n into n minus 1 upon 2 n is given to us as 6 so the form in the number of spectral lines would be 6 into 6 minus 1 upon 2 which is 6 into 5 upon 2 which is 30 by 2 which is 15. So that's how you calculate the number of spectral lines which are produced. I'll solve just one more numerical now in the next video and then we'll move on to the quantum mechanical model of an atom. So just wait for part 6 of this six this is 
6 so the next part is 7 just one more video before we move on to the quantum mechanical model thank you for watching like my videos subscribe to my channel and keep coming back for more in more study on chemistry bye bye